What is going on good people again? Right now we have a super exciting tutorial because we are gonna take YouTube transcripts and we're gonna pass them to OpenAI. And the way that we're gonna do that is via a library called LangChain, which is what this entire series is about. Now, before we jumped into it, I wanted to show a diagram again. I think these diagrams are helpful, but you have to let me know. So just let me know in the comments here. So I wanted to do an overview about what we're actually gonna be writing out in code, because I think it's a little easier to see it in pictures first. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have a video, a YouTube video. We're gonna pass it a, we're gonna pass it a URL. And then what LangChain is gonna help us do is it's gonna help us load this video as a document. And a document just means you're gonna be taking the transcript, which is the text of the video, and you're gonna be loading it as a document, which is something that LangChain can help understand. Now with that document, we're then gonna go um, generate a summary of it. And the way that LangChain is gonna do this is it's gonna create a prompt for us that says, hey, generate me a concise summary of the following text. And then it's gonna insert the transcript of the YouTube uh, video, which is pretty sweet. And this is gonna happen uh, in OpenAI and this is gonna happen via an API call. And then what we get out the other end is OpenAI is gonna tell us, hey, this video is about XYZ. Now, an interesting part about this and where it gets kind of confusing is, well, what happens if your video is too long? Oh no, our video too is too long. We can't pass this because say you're looking at a YouTube video and it's like an hour long. Well, you can't pass all that transcript into OpenAI because they have a token limit. And this is where a lot of the ergonomics of LangChain really come to help out here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna split up that text. So we're gonna still see that it's from video two, but we're gonna have our document one, document two, document three. And then what LangChain is gonna help us do is it's going to go to OpenAI and it's gonna say, hey, I want you to generate a summary for me of document one, generate of document two, generate of document three. Now, the cool part about this is that this is all under the hood. The cool part is then what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, hey, please generate me a summary of these summaries. And then all of a sudden OpenAI is gonna give us a summary of the summaries and the conclusion you get what the video is all the way about. Now, this is one method of kind of combining documents like this and this is called the map reduce method, but we'll get into that in a second when we talk about the different chain types. All right, that's enough diagrams. Let's look at some code here. All right, now that we're looking at some code here, our first import statements, uh, This the star of the show here is gonna be the YouTube loader. This is gonna be the tool that is gonna help us do this. We're gonna uh, import OpenAI and we're gonna import load summarize chain because this is gonna be the chain that's gonna help summarize for us. So let's go ahead and run those. I also had to install YouTube's transcripts API and then also PyTube as well in case you uh, run into that same problem. So with the YouTube loader, we're gonna call dot from YouTube URL and we are gonna pass it a single YouTube URL here. And what that'll do is we're gonna store that in a loader so to get it ready and kind of stage it. And then we're actually gonna call dot load on it, which is gonna do the loading for us. And I wanted to print this out and show you what we have here. So if we have, if we look at this result, you can see that the result is a list of items. This is very important. We'll talk about this in a second here. Um, and then we just have some metadata on it. But it is gonna be a list of documents, and these are the things that LangChain can help understand and can process for us. And in this document, you can see here that there's a page context, which is gonna be the transcript that is from this video. And then we also have some interesting metadata too about the video itself. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this here. Uh, we're gonna uh, in, uh, instantialize, oh, I, want, I need to load the open AI key. Um, we're gonna initialize our uh, large language model which is gonna be the open AI one. And then we're gonna call load summarize chain. We're gonna pass it our model. We're gonna say chain type equals stuff. Important here, we're gonna talk about that, why this is changing later. Uh, we're gonna say verbose equals false because we don't wanna see anything. And then we're gonna pass it the result that we loaded in, which was the, uh, the document or the list of documents that we had. Let's go ahead and run this. And then all of a sudden we get, cool, Pedro Pascal shared his experiences shooting HBO's Last of Us. Awesome, so just based off the transcript, it has a sum, uh, summary of the YouTube video for us. Nice, but what if you have a long video? So I wanted to show you this one. Here we have another YouTube video, which is gonna be a podcast of My First Million on here. We hear some Sean talk, and you can see that it is gonna be almost 60 minutes long, and this is quite long, and spoiler alert, it's too long for OpenAI, uh, for, for the token limit that they have. So let me show you this though. We're gonna load this in, we're gonna load the result. You can see it takes a little bit. And then we're gonna say load summarize chain. Okay, cool, with chain type equals stuff. And we're gonna run this result here. And then, oh no, we have an error. 
it's trying to do something up here and it says this model's maximum context is uh, 4097 tokens you've requested almost 15,000 saying that's no good because that's too long so in the old days before Langchain, what we'd have to do here is we'd have to figure out some way to either run multiple pieces ourselves manually copy and paste it'd be a freaking mess we don't want to do any of that stuff so the problem is your transcript or your document is too long now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to split up that document which is what we saw earlier on the diagram and so i'm going to load in the recursive character splitter and i'm going to get this loaded here and i'm just going to set a chunk size of 2000 you can play with this uh, it might be different for your use case uh, whatever you want but if you're not getting what you need try switching this variable if you want some help there going to load up that text splitter and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to load in that single youtube video into the text splitter and what it's going to do for me is I actually want to show you this here uh, text. And so let's let's first check out the type of text. It is going to be a list. OK, cool. Let's see what it's a list of. And you can see here it's a list of documents. And this page context is still quite long, but it's we're aiming for a chunk size of about 2000. I just want to show you what a chunk size of 100 would look like. And so we have uh, a a, a list of documents again with a page context and this page context is only about a hundred characters long ish or a hundred tokens long ish it's it's uh it's interesting there and so if we were to look at not i want to do type i want to do length so if we're to do length of how many texts we have we have 522 and that's because it's taking our entire transcript and it's basically putting it into chunks roughly of a of 100. If we were to do a thousand for chunks, you can see here it's roughly 10 times less, which is going to be around the 51. So this is a way to split up your documents. And so now we have a whole bunch of documents um, that are length of what we set right here. But I'm going to set this back to 2000. Nice. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to call the LLM here, but I'm going to change the chain type. And in fact, before we did this, I want to I want to show you the issue here. Um, Let's do chunk size 2000 and then we're going to do stuff and I'm going to call run and let's do, oh, I want to do this on text. Let's do run right here. And so the issue is that we have, again, this is the mo maximum model length, but we've requested all these documents together because when you do chain type equals stuff, what you're doing is you're saying to Langchain, hey, I want you to take all my documents and stuff them into the prompt that you're feeding OpenAI. Now, there's a way around this, not a way around this, but an alternative is if you change the type to map reduce, that is when you're going to start to say, hey, just give me a summary of all these different documents that you have and then generate me a final summary. So if we change it to MapReduce, I'm going to go ahead and run this and let's give this a sec because this is going to make multiple API calls because what it's actually doing is it's making a, uh, it's telling, hey, OpenAI, I want you to give me a summary of each one of these different documents. And you saw we had quite a, uh, a few number of documents. Cool. Well, nice. So we just had this long transcript and what we just had is now we have the summary of what this transcript says. But I wanted to show you what it, this actually looks like underneath the covers of what um, Langchain is doing. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set verbose equals true, which gives you insight as to the calls that Langchain is making to OpenAI. But this is gonna get kind of confusing. So I just wanna do the first four documents on here, which is you know, the first little bit of the video that we loaded. And so what we're gonna look at here is we're gonna look at, all right, we're doing a map reduce document chain, cool. And so the very first call that it's saying to OpenAI is write me a concise summary of the following. Nice. So here is the following statement. And this is one of the document chunks that we submitted beforehand. And then it's saying, hey, again, I want you to write me a concise summary of the following. Now, here's the second document that we wanted it to summarize. And then here's the third document. And then here's the fourth document. Now, the cool part is what you can see that gets returned is we have four different summaries of four different documents. So summary one, summary two, summary three, and summary four. And the reason why is because we just wanted to see the first four that we had up here. So we have all those summaries. And then what it said was, is basically write me a concise summary of the following. So a summary of the summaries. And then what we get is we get this uh, summary of the summaries. That's right here. Nice. Um, Cool. Now, what if you have multiple videos that you want to do? Well, in this case, I have a YouTube URL list. I'm just passing it two different videos. I'm going to get a list ready that is going to hold my text for me. I'm going to get my uh, character splitter ready. And I'm going to say, hey, for URL in this list of URLs, I want you to load up the video or get the loader ready. 
I want you to load the video, and then I want you to extend this list with the documents that you've split it into. So in this case, I have two YouTube videos. I'm just gonna go through both of them right there, and then I'm gonna call the summarize chain again with MapReduce. In this case, I don't really wanna do verbose equals true because you already, you already saw what that looked like. But now what it's doing is it's going through both those videos. It's split it, splitting them up into separate documents in case that they're in case they're too long, and then it's generating a summary for me. Now these were two videos about two completely different things, and so this it starts off with a golf video about how to build a golf course in your backyard. So it says cool, blah blah blah, looks great, and then now it goes into the second summary, which is around uh, a uh, interview between Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal about what they were doing. So. That is how you do uh, loading up YouTube videos with a transcript and with the summaries. I hope that that was helpful for you. Please let me know if the diagram was helpful. I'm happy to do more videos. And as always, please leave, com please leave comments about how we can improve the videos and about your own personal uh, business problems that we can help solve. We'll see you later.